hello um hi everybody i actually feel that it's kind of weird for me to be greeting my microphone my computer screen i am actually quite <laughs> i'm really talking to myself but that's the title of this series i want to be able to record some conversations with myself some thoughts so yeah really hope you stick around and that in the comments that we are able to have discussions and maybe bring them forth in next podcasts so yeah hello everybody again um david well actually i'm david as my mother w would call me and i feel like that's the only right way for me to tell you guys my name is how my mother w would call me so yeah um currently it's 11 11 um yeah so my this episode is gonna be about exactly what i just said it's gonna be about names most sp specifically my name and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with in the comments regarding what i express and what i say here so yeah let's begin i'm recording this podcast in english even though it's not my mother tongue my first language actually is spanish and some of you may be able to tell i may have some sort of an accent even though we've learned english for a while now um anyway that doesn't matter it's just like since it's the first episode i want to be known i want to be able to be known to anybody who will actually listen to this in the future so names i've had this thought or this event where i'm thinking about my name constantly and i think about my name and i say david 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 and suddenly it, that name stops feeling like me i stop feeling attached to that name i stop feeling that that like that name defines me but then again if my name doesn't define me how am i gonna be able to be introduced to other people there's this great line in Caroline that says that cats don't need to have a name because they know who they are and that line of dialogue that phrase has really stuck with me because it's a sense that without a name part our name without our name part of our identity is, is lacking and there's a lot of weight attached to the name for example throughout much of my childhood or yeah that's my ch childhood to me almost of primary school and high school grades 1 to 11 i wasn't even called david or david i was called something completely different i was called a nickname which i felt like I put on a different persona when I was being called that name and when I was responding and reacting to being called that name. I felt that that person wasn't really me. Or, well, or, well it was me at the time, it was another person. It had a different... That person had different social skills, language skills attitudes against certain things in the world which is much different than, than David I feel like that guy in high school in primary school might have been able to tolerate more for from other people to be able to meet, be more at going in a way since I was already putting so much of a mask on myself it actually didn't really matter so i might as well just go talk to people there's there's no risk in them seeing the real me and being taken aback or disliking me so that was my experience most of my childhood like 
I've only really been called David or David by people not from my family for the last four years. Apart from that, for more than at least seven years, six years, I was called something that wasn't my name. And it's not that it was just a nickname. It was a completely different name. It's almost like they called me Peter, even though my name is David. So, yeah, it's it was a really surreal experience. And when I think back on it, I felt like only those really, 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 really close to me distanced themselves from calling me that name. Like I had an ex-girlfriend and she never called me that. She called me David. My best friends, they had another nickname for me. Completely different from that one. A nickname f from their own. And I feel like that's also really something that I've read online. That we give nicknames to the people we love because we need to be able to call them on our own way. We need to be able to tell them that we love them in or by our, our own means. So I have... I call my sister completely different than anybody else calls her. I once called somebody I really loved. I called her Timeless. I called my best friend Ranger. My other best friend, I call him Fratello which means brother in Italian. So most of the really important people that have come across my life, they have earned and taken new names and new new names for me, for me to recognize them, for me to see them in my universe, see them in my life. I wanted to give, I feel like thinking upon it, I feel like it's sort of a, property ownership thing like i am the one calling you that like that's just me it also gives way way for our intimacy that's really different than that that you really have with other people so, so i looked into the origin of my name one night that i was completely lost from it, distanced from it, it felt, it felt, it felt alien to me, to be called David, to be David, and my name comes from a, it's a biblical name from King David of Israel, and it means he who is loved, or beloved one, and I have had an, an interesting experience with religion. I will probably talk about it on another podcast. Mm. Oh, not another podcast, on, on another episode. If, well, even if this one doesn't do well, I will talk about it either way. I, I wanted to do this for a while. So, this is also a way of sort of making it some more than my name because you may now know me as david or you may now know, know me as the guy in the podcast on the sketchy and like random youtube channel so i started searching about my name and the more i, I see my i see what that david did where that name comes from the less i feel entitled or rightful owner of it because David did beat Goliath and me as David I feel like I'm being defeated by myself like David is, is falling to the ground and the rock is falling on his head and Goliath is laughing but Goliath is also me so I don't feel like I am worthy of the name or even so more that uh, me having this name actually translate to what it once meant 
to be a king for God. It feels like it, I feel like it carries a lot of weight, a lot of weight to it, and looking upon it, it even makes me feel proud to own the name, even through my internal conflicts of maybe not being able or worthy of carrying the name, since I feel like I haven't beaten no Goliath, I haven't reunited any tribes of Israel into something bigger. I feel like I haven't done something bigger. So I feel like I'm just, well, I'm just another David in a world full of Davids. So I've been thinking of giving myself a nickname for myself since, in a way, we give those nicknames to people we love and I feel like I should give one to myself in a in this weird journey of self-acceptance or of self-growth which is really weird for me to say because I've been I've been drowning in some sort of melancholy for the last couple of months well maybe even the last year if I start thinking about it it's been a tough one and I feel like being able to give myself a nickname only for myself it's a way to distance myself from any notion that my name carries from any notion that my name once carried like for example they people will say David and think of me and think of a specific person and I'm tied to that name, I'm tied to that notion of them. And since they may not see, see me or have a picture of me, all they have is my memory, a memory of me and my name. So I feel like it would be putting, like putting on another mask. And maybe that's just the cycle we need to fall upon. However, it's different with David, with my birth name because it wasn't given to me by some of my school peers. It was given to me by the woman who gave me life and the father who has been there to take care for me. So I'll carry my name as, as, as my shield to the world, as my blanket towards the exterior. And then for myself, call myself something nice, give myself a new name, so I, fa I maybe, feel, maybe will feel free to have these dreams of my own, to make have these aspirations of my own, and not feel like they are also David's, David's, that they're mine. Me, the person in this body, me, the person who's making this podcast right now, and yeah, it's really nostalgic thinking about all the people whom I have given nicknames to and whom they have given nicknames to me. And to me, after four years of not being called my name, when someone calls me David and they, or David, and they seem to cherish it. They seem to pronounce it in a way that it sounds so nice that I'm actually happy that that, that it's my name. That I'm able to be David for them. So I feel like names carry so many things. Like when people say, yeah, you you look like a David. Which is interesting because I've never been told I look like a David. People say I look more like a Daniel or a Daniel. Which annoys me because of the perception I've had of different Daniels, Daniels throughout my life. I don't like them. And I tie that name to them, to my experiences with them. And that's what people do when they meet me and when they listen to me and when they listen to this podcast and everything. So, 
I feel like me being able to appreciate when someone calls me David and appreciate when they are truly my friends it's great because I feel like even though they call me David they may know more about me they may know me beyond those letters that compose my name in the Roman alphabet Roman alphabet, Latin script, I'm so sorry <laughs> and I met somebody and I, and I spent with them a lot of time and I couldn't really come up with a nickname for them I tried but every time I tried to say it I felt like they either didn't like it or it didn't really connect with who they were and I wish I was able I wish I had been able to come up with a nickname now it's irrelevant and way too far for it to matter we talk too sparsely for it to make sense but yeah I wonder if I had maybe I don't know been even closer to them if I could have given them well given her a better nickname I still remember most of the nicknames I've, kept, I've given people because I carry with me both their name which I no longer have and whose memory may hurt or may not be pleasant completely since well since we don't talk anymore with a bunch of people I don't talk anymore with a bunch of people so I know their names I remember them but it has a bitter taste when I remember their their name however when I remember their the nickname I used to have for them it brings back a bunch of memories of happy memories of moments or feeling sensations so maybe I fall into an idealization of the person idealization of the person yeah and maybe that's where I may be mistaken where maybe that's where all of what I've said falls down to pieces when I cling to the memories surrounding the name when I cling to the feelings that I once felt with that name that's when problems occur harm occurs because those nicknames were to a person that no longer exists those nicknames were given to somebody in a certain moment in a certain time when we were sharing a certain moment of our lives and right now they might not they may and most likely won't be able to fit into that nickname and name I gave to them so it's uh, something to think about that's not to say I don't miss most of them terribly it quite um, yeah it's quite quite saddening to think about um, but I don't wish to end on a sad note most I wish to end on, a, on my suggestion for all of you I want to end on my suggestion for all of you which is to go in the mirror and to give yourselves a nickname to give yourselves a nickname which will which which you will identify and this nickname will most likely be something silly but that doesn't matter because if it's something silly it will make you laugh and then think about it this way give yourself the nickname 
you would give to your younger self. That way you can carry that childlike wonder and that childlike hope throughout your daily lives, throughout your goals, throughout your hopes and dreams. You'll be able to give them to your younger self, which they didn't know the struggles, the pain, the anguish, the anger, the broken hearts, the tears. They didn't know any of those. Your younger self, they only knew how to dream, how to be happy. And if you have a rough childhood, then you can give yourself a nickname that's tender, that will protect your younger self, that will that we that will aid them in having a better life, in having a, a way of dreaming which doesn't involve all the past, all that has happened, because it's a new name. It's a new name for yourself, it's a new beginning for yourself. And people will still know you by your name. People will still call me David. People will still call me David. But I'll know that the other me, the one that I've given my nickname to, given myself to, that the one that I'm taking care of inside of me, they don't have to carry the weight of having to defeat Goliath, of having to be king of Israel. They can just be themselves. And then maybe I will finally be able to be me. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in another episode. I really gonna be looking for the comments, any suggestions regarding either audio, themes, um, anything actually. I really appreciate it and I'm gonna keep doing this maybe once a week or I'll try to keep them weekly and if I get it get more inspired or if I get more ideas I'll do them more frequently but I promise to keep them once a week not delay them or prolong this but yeah thank you very much and this has been conversations with myself <laughs>